All right, this is a uh, Casio. Actually, it's right side up as this side. All right, um, I'm not sure what kind of watch it is because the hour, the, the hour is over the uh, thing. And I don't know if I can actually close that to change it. There we go. It's a Casio Quartz uh, 100M. All right, so uh, I'll make sure I note that on the description of it. So uh, it, it's got a uh, AQ100W uh, on the back. All right, I'm going to show you how to change the battery out of this. All right, uh, as I stated in some of my other uh, uh, videos for batteries uh, for watches, uh, you're going to get an eyeglass repair kit, and it has a screwdriver in it that you're going to need. All right, you don't have to go buy a whole uh, a whole thing for um, you know a jeweler screwdriver. Just unscrew these. Uh, put these on a table that you can actually see them. Don't lose them, because I'll tell you what, you're not going to find these in the store. And I uh, don't think they're the same one, same uh, length as was used on glasses. At least none of my glasses ever had them this long. Uh, so uh, we're going to take this back plate off. There is a washer or a rubber kind of weird O-ring or something like that for insulation. We're going to I'm going to show you something about that. Um, all right, it, it was stuck. Uh, uh, the ring was stuck on the back of this, so you might have to peel this off, and it sits right in the channel. I'm going to actually pull it out so I can show it to you. I'm going to take my glasses off so I can actually see this close. All right, so um, I'm going to take take this out. We don't want to damage it. I take it out and show it to you. It's that thin, so I'm going to set that aside for right now. And we're going to work on this battery. It's a really small battery, uh, so it's not like the other one that was uh, part of the desk, uh, desktop. You want to lift this little piece up. It's made to be lifted up. Be careful you don't pull everything out. You're going to lift this guy up, and you're going to take a screwdriver and push this guy out. Make sure that white piece inside stays in there. Okay. So that stays in there, and there's actually a piece of metal underneath. I'm hoping you can see it. That it slides into. All right, so you don't want that to come out. That's the positive side. That reads the positive side of the battery. This is the battery. I'm going to break now to show you uh, what what the numbers are on the battery. I'm using my digital microscope to actually uh, capture this. This is the battery that came out of the watch, SR927W. Uh, if you go to, I went to um, CVS, and uh, they have a a scale to go by to transfer that number over to one that's compatible and this is it alright and um, if I remember right let's see what the receipt said um, yeah this is a uh, it was 549 so I asked them hey so how much is a new watch <laughs> and they said their cheapest watch is uh, uh, is ten dollars but it's nothing like this Casio so I want to take this out and we might actually hear some sounds I don't know positive is on the bottom so we're going to have this uh, the shiny side up, not the ring side, and we're going to st stuff that back in there. And if it is the right size, it's going to fit nicely right back in there, and it does. Alright, uh, so everything, the metal piece should uh, push down, and in fact on the front we have a bunch of minute hands ticking, and I have the date and, date and everything on the bottom. Alright, so, um, so it's definitely working. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this uh, little rubber thing. This is for uh, uh, stop water intrusion. So uh, we're going to take it and put it back in that channel. So I had done this already, but I, like I showed you, I pulled it out. And uh, you want to make sure that it sits down in that channel. Don't try putting it on the back of this and this try putting it back on because it's not going to work. Um, you need to have it sitting in back in this channel. That's in there right now. You're going to take this and put it and make sure this is still there. I don't think that's going to come off too easy. And um, there's the the, Cas the the Casio back. We're going to put it right back into place. And it rises up, quite, it doesn't quite sit all the way down, but uh, that's fine. We're going to take these screws and uh, put them back in. So I'll take your little uh, tool here. I'm trying not to get my hand in the way, and sometimes I have to do that. I go one on each side, 
on opposite sides to get it to stay stay down and not spin the back spin around or anything like that and uh, they are very small and sometimes you might need a needle, uh, needle nose pliers or tweezers or something like that to get them in depending I have very big hands so it's hard for me to actually do this so there that's in get that screwdriver in there and spin it down that's on and now I have to just put the other two in so make sure you dispose the battery as it's a battery. Don't put it in a landfill, not in the normal trash. You know, care care about the environment. I see too many YouTube videos, especially uh, people working on cars, and they actually come out and say they don't care about the environment as their cooling fluid is going right down the drain, or on their grass or something like that. Uh, to me, that's totally unsafe. So um, we're going to put this last one down. It all the way down and it is a done deal that's how easy it is that's the old battery so for a little bit over five dollars I got my watch back and uh, of course I lost the manual on this but I'm sure it's online someplace or just push some of these buttons there's one two buttons down here and a thing for setting the time that's right here so uh, looks like it works good and uh, you know if you like the video go ahead and uh, subscribe I'm going to uh, see if I can obtain some other people's watches and uh, see if they uh, need to be fixed and it's just a really cool thing to do all right so hopefully i saved you a little bit of money doing that all right take care bye